These are the notes for section 7.5, adding and subtracting rational expressions with unlike denominators. We have four steps. The first one is to find the LCD, then rewrite fractions as equivalent fractions, then combine numerators, and then finally simplify if necessary. If we take a look at our first example, we're going to find the LCD first. The LCD between 6 and 15 is 30. And then the LCD between x squared and x is x squared. So now we're going to rewrite the first fraction as an equivalent fraction. So what times 6x squared would give me a 30x squared? That would be 5. So I'm going to multiply the numerator by 5. 5 times 5 is 25. I'm going to do the same thing for the second fraction. 15x times what would give me a 30x squared? That would be 2x. So I'm going to multiply the numerator by 2x and we would get 8x. 4 times 2x is 8x. Now we're going to combine our numerators because now we have the denominators the same, we can add the fractions um, together. So 25 plus 8x is 8x plus 25. Also remember when we combine, um, we're always going to write the variable first over 30x squared. In our next example, we're going to write the LCD the LCD is x plus 2 squared. It may be helpful that when the original problem has a binomial, it may be helpful to put parentheses around it so they can see easier that it is the same binomial. Now we're going to see what times x plus 2 squared would give us an x plus 2 squared. That would be 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. Then we're going to multiply x plus 2 by x plus 2 to get x plus 2 squared. So 2 gets multiplied by x plus 2. When I distribute, I will get 2x plus 4. Now I can add my two fractions together because they have the same denominator. So I'm going to combine the numerator. I get 2x plus 8 over x plus 2 squared. Then I'm going to factor my numerator because I can. Factor out the GCF, which is 2. And nothing can simplify, so this would be my final answer. In our next example, the LCD between 5 and 4 is 20. The LCD between A and A squared is A squared. And the LCD between B squared and B cubed is B cubed. Then we're going to multiply this denominator by 4AB to get the LCD. So we're going to multiply the numerator by the same thing. And we will get negative 16AB. Then we're going to multiply this denominator by 5. So we're going to multiply the numerator by 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Then we're going to subtract. So we, we have negative 16ab minus 15 over 20a squared b cubed. You could also, for this example, technically you can factor out a negative 1, um, but nothing will simplify from doing that. So either uh, answer would be acceptable as your final answer. In our next example, we're going to write the LCD. It's m minus 3 times m plus 1. So we're going to multiply this denominator by m plus 1 so that we get the LCD. So the numerator gets multiplied by m plus 1, and we'll get negative m minus 1 from that. Then we're going to multiply m plus 1 by m minus 3 to get the LCD. So this gets multiplied by m minus 3, as well as the numerator. Then we're going to distribute the 4, so we get 4n minus 12. Now we can combine our two fractions because they have the same denominator. And we will get 3n minus 13 over m minus 3 times m plus 1. And this would be your final answer because you can't simplify, you can't factor any further. In the next example, we're going to write down the LCD, x times x minus 4, x times x minus 4. So this gets multiplied by x minus 4, so does the numerator, so we get 5x minus 20. Then we're going to multiply this fraction by x, and we get 3x from here. Now we're going to combine our numerator. We get 2x minus 20 
over the common denominator. Then we're going to factor out a 2, and we'll get x minus 10 over x times x minus 4. Nothing can simplify, so this would be my final answer. In our next example, in order to find the LCD, we're going to factor the denominator. So we're going to factor out an A. And here we're going to factor out A4. So the LCD for these two fractions would be 4A times A minus 4. We're going to multiply this denominator by 4 to get the LCD. So negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Then we're going to multiply this by A to get the LCD, so this numerator becomes 2A. Now we're going to combine our numerators, 2A minus 8 over the common denominator. We're going to factor out a 2. And here in this example, we can simplify. The A minus 4 is divided out. The 2 goes into 4 2 times. So my final answer is 1 over 2a. In our last example, we're going to factor the second fraction's denominator to x plus 1, x minus 3. So the common denominator would be x plus 1 times x minus 3. We're going to multiply the first fraction by x minus 3 to get the LCD. So we're going to multiply the 4 by x minus 3, distribute the 4, and you get 4x minus 12. For the second fraction, it didn't change, so we're going to just multiply by 1. 16 times 1 is 16. Now we can combine our numerators. We'll get 4x plus 4 over x plus 1 times x minus 3. We can factor the numerator, so we're going to factor out the GCF, which is 4. Then we can simplify the two binomials, x plus 1 and x plus 1. So our final answer is 4 over x minus 3.